वेलकम बैक एस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज एक्सएसएस वर्जन टू अपस्के इन कंजंक्शन विद एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन पॉइंट थ्री फ्रेम जनरेशन विल ऑल्सो शो यू हाउ टू इनेबल एंटी लैक टू विच विल हेल्प इन कटिंग डाउन द लेटेंसी एंटी लैक टू विल वर्क ऑन ए एम डी आर डी एन ए वन एंड न्यू एर जी पीज ऑन ओल्ड ए एम डी जी पीज एंड इंटेल आर्क जी पीज लेटेंसी फ्लेक्स विल वर्क ऑल ऑफ दिस विल बी अचीव बाय डी एल एस एस इनेबल मॉड This game supports FSR 3.1 frame generation officially, but the upscaler is not takeable from frame generation. I have already covered the game's official FSR implementation in my Enjoy overview video. It produces a lot of texture shimmering in the game world. A ghosting effect is also easily observable around the character models. It may be caused by the game's TAA implementation. Nevertheless, using the mod will help in reducing these artifacts. The game is still in early access. Expect its performance to improve over the course of time. It has already received two hot fixes since its release. This is the update log for the second hot fix. Unfortunately, the game still does not support gamepad, so I'll be using mouse and keyboard controls to play it. We still cannot increase the size of text and UI elements, makes it very difficult to play the game on a small screen like the one on ROG Ally. This device has AMD Radeon 780M GPU, perfect for using DLSS enabler. We'll be using the mods Trunk Build, can be downloaded for free from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the Assets section, click on the .exe link. Now I'll show you where to install DLSS enabler. Just select Enjoy in your Steam library. Right click Manage, click on Browse Local Files. Open Blue Client folder, open Binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Yeah, this is the final directory. There is the game's main exe file. Just copy this directory from here, like this. Copy. Now we need to run TLSS enabler setup file. Open the exe file. Click on I accept. Click on Next. Next. Paste the game directory here. Next. First option check. Install as a version dot tll file. Check this option as well. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. This guide will also work on PCs with Intel GPUs. Install XCSS and FSR replacement for DLSS subscaler. Install OptiScaler version 0.7. That's it. Click on Next. Install. Wait for the process to complete. We are done here. Uncheck this option. Finish. Now open the Games Install directory. You'll find DLSS enabled files. Blue client, Pine Race, Win64. There you go. From here, you need to open nvngx.ini file. Make sure generator is set to FSR 31. It corresponds to FSR 3.1. Close this file. Now, look for a file name. Optiscaler.ini. Open it. Very important. Just make sure FG type is set to Newcoms as we will be using Newcom 9's DLSS G2 FSR 3 mod to replace the game's. DLSS frame generation setting with FSR frame generation setting. DX12 upscaler, I'll just set it to XCSS. Upscaler can be changed from the mod menu as well. File, save, close. In most of the games at this point, DLSS enabler unlocks the in-game DLSS settings. But this is not going to happen in the case of Enjoy. You won't see DLSS setting in the game's menu. Due to this reason, we won't be able to enable FSR frame generation. But there is a way to fix this problem, enable DLSS, need to edit the game's configuration file. I'll show you where to find this file. Just go to my PC C drive, open users folder, open the folder whose name is the same as your PC's username, open app data folder. If this folder is not showing up on your PC, you just need to click on view here, go to show, check the setting hidden items. Open it. Open local folder. Open blue client folder. There it is. Open saved folder. Open config folder. Open windows folder. Open this INI file game user settings. From here we need to disable FSR upscaler and FSR frame generation settings and need to enable DLSS upscaler. Scroll down until you find this line. FSR 3 value, you can see it's set to 4. This is because when the last time I was playing this game, I had set FSR upscaler to quality mode. Value 4 corresponds to FSR's quality mode. Value 3 corresponds to FSR's balance mode. 
and value 2 corresponds to FSR's performance mode. It's the same thing for DLSS subscaler. So in order to disable FSR subscaler, just replace number 4 with 0. FSR 3 FI is set to true. This means FSR frame generation is enabled. Just replace true with false. This will disable FSR frame gen. DLSS G corresponds to DLSS frame generation. It is set to false here. This setting will show up in the games menu. So I'll just leave it at the default value that is false. DLSS value very important. This setting corresponds to DLSS subscaler. I'll be using DLSS subscaler's quality mode. So I'll just replace number 0 with 4. We are done here. Click on file, click on save, close. Now the mod should work. Adrenaline settings for the game, FreeSync on, VSync on. Don't enable Radian anti-lag from here as we will be using Radian anti-lag 2. For this game I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My is sending on BIOS version 341. Install AMD's GPU driver, Adrenaline edition version 25.3.1. Using a 30 watts manual profile on 3 power value set at 30 watts. 900p resolution, CPU boost, disable, start the game. We are in using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. This game is very heavy on the GPU and consumes a lot of memory. Display mode set to windowed full screen. Text is so small here. 900p resolution. Dynamic resolution of NVIDIA DLSS frame generation setting got unlocked. I have disabled it for the time being. No FPS cap applied. VSync of depth of field and motion blur disabled. Ray tracing of Occlusion method disabled. Most of the settings are set to low. Anti lazing TA, anti lazing quality medium, shadow quality medium. Ray tracing object set to fallback mesh cannot disable this setting. Texture quality set to medium. Ray tracing quality set to very low. Apply. On low end PCs, it's recommended to disable auto save. Auto save can cause the game to crash. You just go to gameplay, scroll down until you find the save section from here. Set enable auto save to off. I have enabled edge scrolling, this is optional. You will find this setting in the control section edge scrolling on. Open OptiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. I will increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to UI scale, set it to 1.2. Much better. Yeah, change the upscaler from here, click on the drop down bar and select XCSS. First, I'll run the game with FSR 3.1.3 upscaler to show you the difference between FSR and XCSS upscalers. This will produce some texture shimmering. You can see the source API mentioned here is DLSS. So, in game DLSS upscaler is definitely working. Nukem9's mod is disabled for the time being. And here you can check the base resolution 1066 by 600 upscale to 900p resolution. Resolution scale 1.5 and 1.5 value corresponds to the quality mode of upscaler. So everything is working properly. Auto exposure and HDR settings on. You just click on save Ayana here. First I'll highlight the texture shimmering issue produced by FSR upscaler. We are in Deza character. I'm in the city area. The game is paused at the moment. Just observe the zebra crossings here in the far off distance. Here yeah, they are producing that texture shimmering issue. See? Even here the fine textures. I'll switch to XCSS version 2 of Scalar. Open OptiScalar menu. On this drop down bar select XCSS. Apply. Version 2. Close the mod menu. Observe the zebra crossing now. That texture shimmering issue is gone, fixed. Even here, texture shimmering effect has been reduced considerably. Image quality is looking slightly sharper as well compared to FSR 3.1.3. Image quality looks good even during motion. I'll just unpause the game. Highly recommend it to use XSS upscale in this game. If your PC has an RTX GPU, then just use DLSS. Okay, I'll just load another area more demanding than this one. Even this area is very heavy. I'll load a very density area. Just observe the character model. 
barely any ghosting is produced now this is XCSS version 2 upscaler image quality is looking very impressive on LI small display ok here FPS is within a range of 33 to 37 now I'll enable mod FSR frame generation open in game graphics setting and just set NVIDIA DLSS frame generation 2 on apply the setting now I'll enable anti lag tools latency monitor by pressing its hotkey combo alt shift and L keep pressing the combo to cycle through the different display options yeah it's working resume the game yeah FPS increased to around 60 can observe the added amount of smoothness latency value is close to 70 milliseconds frame pacing graph does not look like a flat line is due to the recent changes in streamline framework it does not affect the performance some coasting around the icon above my Zoe's head see on the top side of course even in the case of official FSR frame generation implementation no artifacts around our character model FPS stays within a range of 50 to 60 while traversing the open world game stutters from time to time this stuttering occurs even on an RTX 5090 GPU yes you heard it right see 50 to 60 FPS unreal engine for you hopefully the game's performance will improve in the near future 60 to 80 milliseconds in some games latency flex or anti lag to implementation can cause some problems like the game crashing or stuttering there is one setting to disable it just open the games install directory manage browse local files open blue client folder binaries folder win64 folder here look for a file name fake nv api dot ini there it is open it just set force underscore reflex equal to 1 this will disable anti lag 2 or latency flex implementation force disable click on file click on save close and just enable radian anti lag version 1 from adrenaline this is for raw gala amd gpu optiscalar settings xcss subscalar same settings as before try to enable anti lag 2's latency monitor yeah you can see latency value is not shown this means anti lag 2 is not working fps counter is being shown this is for anti lag version 1 I am in the city area yeah here fps is close to 65 image quality is looking very sharp hard elements are not flickering this is mod frame generation using anti lag version 1 is completely optional slight increase in latency nothing extreme compared to anti lag 2 I cannot predict the mod's performance on Intel Arc GPUs if latency flex implementation causes some stuttering just disable it via fake nvapi.ini file if you enable XCSS upscaler via OptiScaler on Arc GPUs XMX model of XCSS will get activated which is better than the DP4A model that is used on raw Galad. DP4A model is still better than FSR upscaler produces less texture shimmering already shown you that you can observe the zebra crossing in the background no texture shimmering so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day